Hi, welcome to the boardshop.co.uk surf board review. Uh, today we're joined by our favourite celebrity surfer, Alan Stokes. He's on Love Island next year. You didn't hear that anywhere else. Right? <laughs> Um, I'm sure my wife today knows that. Today we're looking at the uh, ex-wife, <laughs> uh, the Flowstick Pro, the latest creation from the Form um, Ideas Group or Circle Manufacturers, developed by Alan, Luke Hart, and our good selves. We wanted a board to be a step up from the original Flowstick, which has been a phenomenal success. That kind of performance hybrid stroke mid length, um, depending on what length you're riding it, and the boys came up with this, the Flowstick Pro. Um, Alan will run through the design features. The first you can see is these beautiful channels and the fin setup, and how it works, what conditions it works. Um, we run it from 6.0 up to whatever size you want. In stock, we carry up to a 6.10, but we've already got custom orders for much bigger than that. And we feel that in a 6.0 or a 6.2, it's like a, like a step up hybrid, a more of a performance hybrid option. But then if sizes above that, it becomes more of a performance mid-length. So it gives you all the benefits of that bigger board, paddling speed, hold, down the line speed, etc. But it adds an element of performance that maybe is missing in, ter in terms of turning and stuff in a mid-length type board. Um, it's being ridden universally with a twin fin setup. Uh, the FTS power fins are brilliant for it, but more and more people are starting to think about riding it as a single fin as well for a more cruisy kind of surf. So Alan's going to tell you how he surfed it, where he surfed it, who it's for, what kind of ways it's going to work in, and why you should own one. Um, take it away, my All right. <laughs> yeah, I think Ian covered quite a lot there, but um, yeah, this is the Flow Stick Pro. So this is kind of my, we've got the Flow Stick board, um, and then we've got the Flow Stick Mini, and then this is kind of my, I guess this would be my custom Flow Stick. Um, we call it the Flow Stick Pro. Um, the Flow Stick came about basically because we realized that this is kind of my like fairly big wave step up board um, but we we realized that it also lends itself perfectly to a mid length board as well for kind of beginner to intermediate um, and works well in one foot to six foot surf so this is the flow stick pro um, and basically this board came about for me um, this whole kind of design um, really just I wanted a step up board to ride at home when the waves were six feet plus a winter kind of board, a lot of power, um, and I wanted a board that was just going to kind of keep the same type of speed that I was feeling on my small wave twin fins, like the Adapt. Um, and I just wanted to try and get that same feeling on a big open face. I found that my normal short boards, um, step up 6.3, pulled in tail, you know, your standard kind of step up short board, they just weren't quite doing something that I wanted them to do at, say, large open beach breaks. Um, or a big open face point. I felt like I was really having to nurse them through turns a little bit um, and really having to jam them quite hard in the pocket and then almost being thrown to the beach because our waves here in the UK tend to be a bit stoppy starty. Um, they don't have that bottom shape and then that real pitching lip. So uh, this is what we came up with. Um, and obviously I've been inspired by a lot of people at the same time um, and the way they surf. So this is what we ended up with. It's a kind of hybrid twin fin gun. Uh, the channels are in there just to give you some more control because you're going to go so quick on this thing. It's so fast. Um, it just lets you go from rail to rail a little quicker and just gets the water moving through these, these two nice big twin fins here um, when you're on quite a steep hollow wave. Uh, yeah, so this is it. This is my step up board. Um, and I just, yeah, as soon as the waves got to kind of six foot, I would kind of get off the adapt or off the go-to shortboard and jump on this and um, yeah the board was basically designed so I could paddle around in a lineup that's quite big so you know you're talking big areas where you've got to paddle quite quickly to kind of get from one peak to the other a lot of rips on, on fairly big beach breaks break big beach break conditions uh, so this paddles amazingly well way better than say just my step up shortboard obviously there's a lot more board here a lot more nose area um, and then it just catches waves super quick it's got a really low rocker profile um, and then because you haven't got that middle fin, this is a twin fin, um, the board itself will just catch waves way quicker. There's nothing at the back pivoting, so you, you haven't got the, that middle fin essentially on a short board. Is all it's doing is kind of slowing you down when you paddle. It's also slowing you down when you're surfing. It adds a little bit more pivotal turning uh, point to your board, but when you're paddling for a wave, uh, the twin fin just lets water kind of go straight through the back, so you're, you're kind of 
getting up to paddle speed way quicker and you're getting waves a lot quicker and earlier. Um, and then once you caught a wave on this, on a big open face wave, um, as a performance board, um, I would ride this 6.2 to 6.6. Six. Um, it's amazing. Uh, it's similar to feeling to like snowboarding on a, on kind of a big open um, face, and uh, the turns feel the same. Real fast turns, real nice raily surfing, and uh, yeah, it's just a great board. It's it's a really lovely board to kind of style out a little bit. Um, and then if you get it inside the barrel, because you've got so much speed there, once you get your line right, it just absolutely flies, and it feels amazing inside the tube. Um, and the twin fin and the channels let you kind of walk a bit further forwards up, so you can kind of shuffle forwards in the barrel. It's, it's good fun. So, yeah, that's why I ride it. Um, like Ian said, lends itself perfectly as well as a mid-length. Um, have a look at the flow stick as well. But, uh, yeah, I think you can probably see it's a pretty rad-looking board, um, and it surfs amazingly as well. Um, and then Ian touched base on uh, riding it as a single fin as well. We just thought, well, we might as well. You know, we've got the twin. I thought just a con real contrasting feel. With the Adapt um, Twinny, we've got the thruster set up as well. So it felt pretty good to try and cover all bases in the quiver through all the boards. So this one is a twin and then a single. So if you just want to go cruising or maybe the wave you're going to surf isn't so down the line, you don't need so much speed, but you want the board to pivot really well, but in a really relaxed way, put a 7-inch uh, single fin or a 6.5 in the back, and it's just going to turn into a really nice kind of 70s style single fin, and you can get all Jerry Lopez on it. So... Yeah, there you go, Flowstick Pro.